everybody, how is it going? I'm Lucas, and what I have in my hands is an HHD FF6 Fan Fred Headless Guitar from Black Cat Guitars. All right, let's jump into the specs real quick. So we have an ash body with a Daphne blue right on top of it. It's an open grain ash. You can see all the nice little grains. It looks really, really cool. We have a maple and wenge neck going on. And then we have a um, ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets. And we have a lumen lot, um, lumen lay, excuse me, <laughs> top dots going on here in blue. And then we have the kitty feet inlay. I was originally gonna get offset dots, but once I saw the kitty feet, I absolutely fell in love with it and had to get it. When it comes to the pickups, I have the Toast and Fishman pickups. Now this is a seven string soap bar set. And the reason that, we, that Tom Eck, the guy, head luthier over, at Black Cat decided to go with these is because it's a little easier to work with when it comes to fan frets because you don't really have to worry about getting the passive offset just right. You can slap in the soap bars, it covers everything. In the future, I ever want to change out pickups, all I have to do is just unscrew these and screw some soap bars right back in and I don't have to worry about getting those passives offset like I said earlier, which is really fantastic. And then you have a five-way blade in here. This is the bridge. This is the uh, inner coils, this is the middle position, this is the outer coil, and this is the neck. And the neck, middle, and outer all have a second voice which you can access by popping the tone knob up like this. And then also, of course, you have a volume switch. You can just get it with a volume switch. I'm pretty sure Tom Egg just put a tone uh, pot in here just to mess with me because I kept trashing them online. So we got that going on. You can get it on the volume and you can pop it up and down. Now, when it comes to the bridge, it's ABM hardware and it's coated in ruthenium. This is the first time I've ever had anything coated in ruthenium and it looks and it feels absolutely fantastic. I definitely want to get some more stuff coated in ruthenium in the future. And then when it comes to the back side of the guitar, I have this Fishman charging port which is really awesome because I don't have to dig around and change out my battery if it dies. I can just plug it right in and it'll charge right up. It'll be good to go. It uses a micro USB port. And then the back plates themselves are made out of Macasker Ebony, which is really, really, really awesome. It's a thin veneer and it looks really, really, really cool. It did take a little bit longer to get the guitar than I originally expected, but that was because ABM was having some hardware complications, long wait time to get the hardware. What Tomek actually did was he got ABM to ship him the hardware himself and he took care of coating it in ruthenium. He really likes ruthenium because it's, it lasts a long time and it's, a little, it's really strong. He actually took care of that himself, getting encoded with that. And all through this process, he gave us updates. Uh, I got a, uh, a bro guitar with my friend Kyle, so we both got the same guitar. So he kept us in the loop the entire time. Now he didn't give us updates every five minutes, but he sent us pictures of things that were going on. He let us know about the delays. He let us know every step of the way what was going on, and that was really, really nice. Buying the Black Cat was one of the best buying experiences that I've ever had, and it was it was very, very nice. It was very, very smooth. I really had no issues at all. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, Lucas, I really like your guitar, but I, you know, I really want something that isn't fanned, you can get it. You also might be thinking, you know, I really like that fan guitar, but you know, maybe I want something with a headstock. You can get it. You may be thinking, you know, that I'm not a real big, big fan of double cuts. Is it possible for me to get a single cut headless? You can get it. You may be also thinking to yourself, Lucas, can I get a standard scale non-headless guitar? Guess what? You can get it. Black Cat has a plethora of options. I'm going to put their website in the description down below. You can get 
you can get a single cut. There's different type of double cuts you can get. And if you do actually order a guitar in general, this is just kind of a rule of thumb, make sure you talk to your luthier. He may have the insight of, you know, you want a particular wood, but that particular wood, you know, it may be really hard to source and it may hold up your build. So whenever you're ordering a guitar, just talk to your luthier, work these things out ahead of time. So that way you can have a good, nice build process and so can he or she. Scale on it, fan wise, is from 27 on the bottom all the way to 25 on the top. I actually, I haven't even dropped C right now, and I actually dropped the um, bottom string all the way down to a low A, and it, it handled absolutely perfectly. It was really great. I believe I have a 56 on the bottom on here, and it handled perfect. Overall, I'm really, 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 really happy with this guitar. It's super solid. The neck feels great. The hardware feels great. There's no sharp fret ends. It's really fun and it's really energetic to play. It gets me really excited to play it, which not a lot of guitars have done that for me, but this one definitely does. And it's also one of the best buying experiences that I've had. Tomek kept us in the loop the entire way. I have no fears about contacting him. Um, as long as you're not trying to get something over the top and crazy, he'll definitely work with you. It was a pleasure to work with him, like I said before. And that's about going to wrap it up for this Black Cat Headless Fan Fray guitar. Um, I'm excited to play it. I need to go back and play it. I actually want to come home to work and play it. That's how great it has been for me. So if you have any questions or anything like that, definitely don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments down below. As for me, I'm going to have to be out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.